everyone should know that trading uh, involves many risks and uh, please um, read this carefully and uh, consider that um, disclaimer very good before taking any trade um, today I'm gonna show you um, yeah how uh, the market is doing and uh, how I should I would take trade uh, by myself so I I don't I'm not giving any signals in any way because I don't have the right to do that so uh, just making that clear for everybody in the room um, <coughs> so um, let's let's get started uh, and uh, I think everyone else uh, should be dropping in soon so uh, let's uh, let's see oh, where is it where is it Anyone uh, is in a trade right now? Or are you still watching market and waiting for any levels? So um, this session is the first time we do um, a session when uh, the market are open. So um, I don't know what uh, your expectations are, guys. Uh, I actually um, had a very very uh, busy day today so uh, I didn't um, have uh, lots of time to uh, watch the sh watch the charts but um, I just came home and um, had maybe uh, 10 or 15 minutes before we start and taking a look at it um, yeah yeah good Robin uh, 720p should it be on uh, from the setting and uh, that will uh, give you a very good picture um, yeah so um, for those of you who watched my um, um, Sunday session we talked about um, we started uh, as always uh, with uh, with the Dixie and uh, <coughs> we, we talked about we talked about this level, that test of uh, the high of the channel, and uh, that we may should see a bounce from up here, and uh, that's what's happened uh, on the opening from uh, the beginning of the week. Uh, we went down all the way, broke this low here. We broke this structure, bounced back up uh, today, and uh, I was watching this level because um, to me it looks like uh, a retest of the broken structure. And uh, now, at the moment, uh, sorry, uh, we are heading down again. So um, the level I'm looking at is. Um, uh, this level just under uh, <coughs> 99.80 or something uh, if we break uh, that level today we should be we should be looking for the 0 0.61 uh, Fibonacci retracement and that retracement is coming from uh, I'm gonna draw it again so you, so you see what I mean coming from this swing here and uh, the reason I didn't took uh, the wick here because uh, this was uh, election uh, night wick so uh, I think uh, this level is uh, is more reliable to draw uh, the swing from and as you see uh, on the daily now we're heading down to retest uh, sorry to yeah to retest this level from yesterday and um, it looks like uh, it's gonna break and uh, we should keep an eye on this level because when price were here last time we got this rejection here 
and uh, another level uh, that should be um, uh, a place to look for is this one the 98.90 uh, 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 area but uh, yeah of course i will be watching uh, this level first because uh, it meets with the bottom of the channel also so um, that is the area uh, i will i will be looking at for maybe today and uh, tomorrow uh, so uh, that's about the dixie uh, gold is <sighs> playing around with many people but um, we got this uh, double top and uh, then we broke the highs and uh, we are established we broke this line that I was watching but we didn't go far down as you see here uh, we broke this trend line and uh, I was happy to see that but I wanted to see more follow up here we didn't get that we instead get a bounce up uh, we had some struggle to go up here went back down and up again and now we're trying um, to break the highs again uh, we have a retest uh, to break this high ongoing right now and uh, you should be watching uh, uh, this uh, level uh, if you want to trade gold to see what uh, how it will react but uh, it still looks uh, bullish from here and uh, the structure is um, is a bit uh, tricky now because um, uh, it's going slowly but still up uh, and uh, I was hoping that the gold uh, gonna bounce more down because um, I'm uh, looking to short uh, Aussie USD, but um, I think I have to wait for that. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you. We were talking about the Aussie CAD trade, and I said that I was a little bit <laughs> angry about it. Um, it is ongoing here, but this uh, this is on a demo account. I used to. Uh, I used to put my trades uh, on uh, MetaTrader also. Uh, that account didn't get uh, triggered. Uh, my real account didn't get triggered, but this one got triggered. And um, the idea was um, when I looked at the daily here, uh, AussieCAD has all the Aussie pair. We had a very good rally up and uh, we got uh, um, near this um, structure here up here uh, and we have uh, been tested this structure before and got rejected and that uh, make me interested as you see here uh, we push back we push up a little uh, more here but then the price went down and we had the last time a test in this area and when I saw this indecision daily candle here, I got very interested of the area again. And then we got this pin bar yesterday, and uh, that's uh, made me uh, really, really interested about the level. So I went and uh, took a Fibonacci. Uh, draw a Fibonacci level from this swing low to this swing high to see if we have um, uh, if we have um, <coughs> a chance to go down more and uh, maybe retest the 38 and it looks very very uh, good to uh, take a short trade uh, and have uh, have uh, take profit uh, areas that can give us a good risk reward then and went down to uh, the one hour yesterday uh, uh, evening uh, in Europe and um, had 
this retracement from this swing high to this swing low here and I put my order at uh, 1.0074 uh, I think let's see 1.0074 yeah uh, and I put uh, one on the demo account and one on the MetaTrader I, my real account didn't get triggered but this one got triggered and uh, it triggered me and uh, went back down well uh, sad things happens in the market no problem I'm happy because uh, the main idea worked very well and uh, there will be uh, more chances for sure so uh, yeah that's life in trading sometimes uh, you need some luck also and uh, this time I didn't have it uh, but um, I will keep watching uh, this pair because now we have a really good break of uh, this uh, structure level here uh, we had the problem to make new highs as you see here uh, this one was the last high so on this breakout I think there is uh, maybe some um, trader who took uh, who went long here and was fast um, was trapped in this and uh, if I would go long here surely my stop loss area will be below the last low so this area here should be uh, sorry should be the stop loss pocket and uh, that's what I think made this huge candle after the break of this level here when the stop loss from yesterday and stop loss from those who went long here uh, got triggered and uh, that helps the momentum uh, to the downside uh, in uh, my opinion and what I think so uh, now we have our first lower low here uh, sorry lower high and uh, we maybe are um, making uh, a lower low too let's wait and see uh, I will be uh, looking for uh, a retracement back up retest of broken structure and try to take, take this uh, trade <laughs> menu manually maybe this time <laughs> to be sure that I'll be triggered so um, let's see how it goes we have um, uh, a psychological level to break also uh, it's all already broken on the one hour but uh, a four hour signal is much better so let's uh, I would say let's wait and see how this uh, this uh, four hour uh, candle close because uh, the 1.000 is a um, good uh, psychological level and uh, we should wait for it if it gets broken then we have this structure here to think about and if this structure got broken then it's um, good to be looking at this area at, as a profit taking area so uh, yeah nothing uh, for sure yet uh, this level is still a good level to watch and see if it, if it will break and uh, then um, to look at this area so uh, that was um, what I had to say about this uh, sad uh, trade <laughs> and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, I will have a new chance to uh, to get in again uh, any questions so far guys anyone is in a trade or uh, eyeing a special uh, any uh, any pair that we can look uh, look through together otherwise I can I'm gonna keep going <coughs> uh, 
and I have uh, the oil on the short on the short now because uh, uh, we talked about that too uh, last uh, Sunday and we were talking about uh, this level to watch and see uh, how price will react uh, this level have been um, good resistance as you see here we tested one two three times but this time we didn't go uh, uh, that far as uh, as this one this one was much better uh, and this one is a little bit higher now so um, I would not trade uh, this one just by putting limit order I would be maybe wait and see uh, the price action uh, and um, take a decision after that let's see I got uh, Robin asking for USD GPY EURUSD and USD uh, Swiss franc yeah sure I am actually long uh, EURUSD uh, I took a small trade today and testing um, um, yeah I will not say a new strategy but I'm testing something on uh, <laughs> On that pair so I took a small trade long uh, let's go to the daily so I can clear my chart and and we can go from where we are right now so you see here uh, I put sell limit it's um, it's um, level that I'm watching so um, We've been in uh, this uptrend and uh, following and uh, respecting uh, this trend line, as you see. Uh, yesterday we broke uh, this structure area here. And uh, today price opened it, went down, and we, we are now... Uh, London session went down and we, we were now doing uh, a little bit up again uh, as you see here we tried to break the highs of the day and we are getting this rejection uh, um, in my opinion it's nothing to worry about it's the structure still look bullish we have uh, higher lows we have a higher high here and uh, right now we're getting we we got some rejection from here so uh, what to look at is this level here and see if we will get another bounce from down here back up again uh, if this candle uh, kind of close as it is right now and we get uh, another uh, cannon that candle that open under and keep going down so I will be looking at this area to see how price will react because we have this rejection from yesterday at this level and those two pin bars look very for me very uh, strong um, buy from this area so uh, those two levels are uh, are the levels that uh, I'm gonna be watching. Uh, let's not forget that uh, this candle here uh, have uh, about 40 minutes to close, so uh, much can happen uh, on the way. I usually don't trade if I have any uh, candle that I'm waiting for signal. I don't trade it before it close because uh, um, every candle. <laughs> Uh, can be a pin bar uh, um, when it's not closed and uh, then it can go up, back up again or back down all the way so uh, the better way to trade uh, any signal you're gonna trade double top whatever pin bar wait for the close if you're trading from the one hour then you should wait for that one hour candle that give you uh, the signal you're waiting for to be closed at first uh, and the four hours and etc uh, 
that is the best way to do it in my opinion because a lot can happen in one hour and um, nothing is for sure before um, the candle is uh, closed and as many of you know the last five or ten minutes uh, in the hour hourly candles are also uh, the time when all the price movement uh, the take place uh, <coughs> so yeah we have uh, maybe a, a little bit uh, double top up here now we have some uh, divergence on the RSI so um, that can be a signal for short if um, someone uh, trade uh, the five minute chart uh, maybe they think uh, 20 pips is good to take from uh, from this area for me uh, five minute chart uh, or, or 15 chart uh, I don't trade them I trade um, for one hour four hour and because uh, I'm trading swing trades um, so um, a scalper would maybe take <laughs> this one and try to write it down back here uh, I don't uh, do that USD GPY also for Robin asking for <coughs> this one looks the same uh, al almost the same uh, uh, as a Dixie uh, we had uh, this down channel and the uh, price uh, was uh, channeling down and respecting it uh, so far uh, I was today looking to see if we're gonna break the uh, the lows of uh, those three candles here it's a good level to watch and uh, so far we are uh, here we go down to the four hour and see it more clear as you see we didn't close uh, we didn't get a close under this level and uh, that's a signal we should be waiting for uh, if we had a let's say a four hour close under this level I would be uh, looking to uh, for more short down but uh, we actually got rejected we did this uh, double bottom uh, not a big divergence on the four hour but if we go back to the daily you can see here we have this divergence here uh, and uh, that may may be telling us that we maybe will keep trying to push up uh, and um, we have an indecision candle pin bar another pin bar here and um, that shows that we have rejection in this area and the level is uh, a strong one so uh, what we maybe we should be looking at is a uh, retracement back up here if we take a Fibonacci retracement tool and put one here the area we I will be maybe looking at is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement uh, and that came also at the same level of the top of this channel that was respected many times so uh, the trend is down for the midterm trend is down and the best way maybe to trade this pair is to wait you see here uh, rejection 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 many times and uh, for me the best way to trade this one would be to wait and see if price came to this area 
and uh, get rejected from uh, the top of the channel and we have also uh, this uh, Fibonacci level here at the same place. Uh, <coughs> that's uh, what I would do. Um, I'm not sure if we uh, if it's a good idea to t trend against the trend here and uh, take along. I uh, would feel much, much better to uh, trend with this uh, trade, sorry, with uh, this midterm down trend. So, um, yeah, um, wait for this level and uh, maybe look for a bounce down because um, that will be a, a trade with the trend. Uh, let's see what we have more uh, USD Swiss franc Hi Jason USD Swiss, Swiss franc what a nice rounding we have here and um, as you see here on the daily, we went all the way up to retest th these highs. I had marked these highs uh, when prices uh, start to get uh, at this area and get this rejection. So I marked this level to, to watch it. Uh, we tried to uh, break it uh, two, three times. Uh, and uh, it didn't work so uh, at last price got rejected very strong from from here and uh, price went all the way down we had some problem here but not a big issue and we got this uh, huge candle here this one as you see um, and as always when when you have a strong uh, support level that get broken but by a huge candle uh, that means the level is good price went up to retest we did a retest of uh, this neckline and got this uh, pin bar here and the day after uh, we got this uh, bearish candle and another bearish candle and now we are here and uh, bounced up a bit uh, I, sh I would wait and see uh, if the price will really t give us a good test of uh, this level here before to think about going long or anything else um, and we go down to the four hour you see we have the trend is clear for the downside we had this higher high then high low uh, sorry lower high low low and low low lower high low low another lower high and this was the last lower low we have. And, uh, what I will be looking at, as I said, uh, that price maybe make another retest to the 99.40 uh, area and see if we uh, gonna get uh, rejection from this level or not because uh, this level is a good level to watch as you see here it was support before uh, sorry resistant uh, price went back broke it retested and now it's gonna add or it's acting as uh, support so um, not tradable from f for me yet uh, the trend is down if I would short this one, I maybe will wait for a test of this structure here. 
and uh, then we'll be looking for a uh, short maybe from this area because as you see here this level this structure here is a good strong one and a retest here would be a good pl place to try to short but right now I wouldn't do anything with uh, the spare from the place where it is right now and if we try to draw a channel or you see that we having a wedge and um, yeah what might maybe happen if we also look if, uh, let me show you the Dixie a little bit We have all, almost uh, the same uh, scenario, so maybe if price on the Dixie tries this low, that we're gonna get the bounce on uh, USD Swiss also, it's the same scenario, that we maybe get a stronger bounce from this level, this uh, major level here, as you see, the, it was the start of this rally up, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, get uh, a strong bounce from uh, this level next time price uh, uh, retest the 99.50 area and uh, that's why it may happen uh, on USD Swiss franc also the same structure and uh, same wedge so uh, the best way is to wait for price to go back up and try to short it and if it go retest here look for a, another bounce up because if this trend line got broken and maybe retest it then we'll be more sure that we maybe gonna do more up because uh, uh, the long term for the dollar was uh, very bullish and now the market is a bit insecure about that um, we're still waiting to see what uh, mr trump have to say and to do and show uh, what uh, the policies um, he gonna follow and uh, if he gonna do what he's uh, been talking about uh, under the election time so um, yeah um, dollar is a bit insecure now and that's why we maybe see this downtrend for the moment <coughs> um, Robin was uh, are you happy with uh, the analyze about uh, those pair you asked it for and uh, anyone else have uh, any pair or any question uh, that you want me to answer? In the meantime, I'm gonna just take a look at my Euro trade. And it looks like we got rejected very hard. Let's wait and see. Ah, good, good, Robin, that you like it. Uh, EURUSD, what's going on? <coughs> so I, uh, I took uh, this trade, went long at the retest here on the EURUSD, almost on this area, and uh, added a, I added uh, a little bit more uh, here and now uh, we've got rejected from this level so uh, this last candle is very interesting to me to look at and was wa what I was hoping for was a real break of this structure here that would broke this structure and uh, kept pushing up because my my plan is to uh, 
My plan is to short the EURUSD from this level here. When we go to the daily and we put on the 100 EMA, you see that it's approaching from above. It was respected here and now the 100 EMA is approaching uh, down here. We have this area here that price got rejected very hard and um, yeah if uh, price came up all the way to this level I will be I would be very interested to short and I actually gonna put a limit order in that area and um, just um, yeah letting run I will not be looking at uh, price action on this trade because uh, um, the level is very good and uh, we've been retracing for a good while now if we take the whole move from this swing high to this swing low as you see here we have the 0 0.618 Fibonacci we have this support area here and we have <coughs> the 100 EMA approaching from uh, the upside and uh, the 100 EMA use daily used to be uh, respected and uh, many traders look at so uh, that be another confluence for, confluence for us to look at uh, if you want to be more conservative keep following uh, this trend line here sorry guys if the chart a little bit cluttered uh, don't like my chart to be so cluttered but uh, <laughs> now when I'm explaining I need to do that uh, let's take off some of them so um, and let's get rid of the MA we don't need it right now so much better um, <coughs> if you if you want to uh, play it uh, conservative as I said you maybe want to uh, follow uh, this trend line and uh, wait for a break of it uh, and uh, yeah a break of trend line and retest failure and enter back again but don't put a very large uh, take profit because as you see we have a lots of structure to look at uh, we have we have this uh, structure here uh, that on the way back we go we may be gonna have some trouble uh, to uh, break it then uh, the next level is of course this level here as you see here uh, this area here rejection and uh, uh, resistance that may be oh, gonna act uh, as support on the way down here we have here another test here we broke it and went back up retested and uh, kept going up so uh, keep an eye on uh, this one here and uh, we have another level to watch <laughs> if you gonna be still in this trade and if it and if it goes down of course then you have this level and our last structure is here so yeah and uh, I had uh, this AB equals CD went very good but didn't trigger it started uh, <laughs> it's uh, start to go up before uh, my uh, level and it's still playing out so uh, now it's time for me to wait up here in this area and wait for short let's see uh, what do you think about um, great uh, british pound usd one day chart uh, okay jason we will take a look at that
Will you not try to win some pips on long if it goes up tomorrow? Uh, Jason, do you mean uh, on the euro? Do you mean uh, euro USD? And uh, in the meantime, uh, until you answer that, um, we're going to talk about uh, the USD, uh, uh, sorry, uh, GPP USD. Uh, I've already marked up this uh, pair from, uh, from the weekend. At, and what uh, I did, let's take this off so you see how I, s how I do. So uh, we've had uh, this breakdown of, uh, let's go to the daily. <coughs> we have, uh, we've broken this level, this major level uh, it, on the gap down. And it was a no what I call novice, novice gap down. <laughs> Because um, those those gaps, uh, when they happen on the weekend, um, actually lots of uh, retails traders that uh, do them, uh, not uh, big banks trading uh, at that time. So um, anyway, we had this uh, gap down, and uh, prices got rejected very very strong, as you see, because of uh, the speech of Theresa May, etc., etc., Brexit scenario, uh, whatever the reason is, so uh, that shows us that there is a strong bullish momentum from this area here, and uh, price uh, rallied up very, very strong. Uh, so uh, what I did, on the, I went down to the four hour, and put my trend line here, because I really love trend lines. They work very good for me, and uh, they show me where where uh, I can take uh, the breakout of the trend line. So uh, that's why I use them a lot, uh, and uh, it works for me, and it's easy to trade. Just I wait for a major trend line breakout, retest, and if it's bullish, uh, I buy, or is it bearish, uh, I sell. So what's happening now? <coughs> we get this rejection down. We retested the trend line, as you see here. Uh, rejected. And uh, today, we retested both the trend, trend line and this. Uh, support because it was a resistance before and now it's support uh, Jason uh, yes uh, I am uh, long EURUSD now but uh, as I said at the start of the video I'm testing uh, a little new strategy so that's why I went long it's a very small position but uh, I wouldn't go um, this last push uh, with a bigger position because uh, uh, we're getting extended very soon so I would be waiting uh, to go short uh, from the level I've showed you before on Euro USD. So um, yeah, uh, let's go back to uh, GPP USD. So uh, what uh, we have now, a rejection from this level as you see and we have also this uh, possible AB equals CD scenario here. Uh, if you put it like that, oh, I didn't copy. I need a copy of this one. Here you go. And um, the completion of this AB equals CD is on this structure, which make it very good to look at. As you see here, we have uh, this structure here. And if we take our Fibonacci extension from swing low to swing high and back down, as you see, it's complete also at uh, 1.618 uh, Fibonacci extension. Uh, and that's also a good level. So um, 
I think going long from here wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, I didn't do anything with the spare today because of uh, the news and the Brexit uh, uh, ruling. Uh, what was uh, that was today and uh, in the morning? So, uh, and we have uh, a little bit wicks from the upside right now. So uh, better to wait a little bit and see if we're going to have another retest at this level. Maybe try to retest this level. That's what's going on right now on this four hour candle. Uh, and uh, if we go down to the one hour, as you see, we've been already retested, rejected. And now we have a little bit of rejection back. So um, I would wait and see if we're going to have another test and maybe another bounce up. And uh, actually, we have uh, our reason to, do, to think long from here because we have this very, very strong bounce up. We made a new structure, a uh, higher low. We made uh, a higher high, higher than this one and higher than this one. Uh, so... Um, we can start to think to plan to go long from retest of this area and uh, take profit somewhere on this area because when this or if <laughs> this level here get broken as if you look left here uh, when if this get broken you see here do we have broken that structure also and we have nothing on the way before we get on that uh, that level the let's see 1.2712 ish area so uh, yeah uh, that will be a very very good uh, trade if it goes all the way up here take profit in this area and maybe a reverse down because of the completion of the a b equal c d level and as you see, it's a major area here. So uh, I would not be looking for more long from here because that will be a very extended move. So um, maybe a short, at least uh, 0 0.38 retracement down, take profit. And if it will gonna keep going up, so after this level, then we have a really bullish uh, scenario ongoing here. We still have this level to watch later on, but <laughs> that's very, very far from here. So um, let's uh, just keep looking uh, at this level. This rejection here is good, but it may be it's retesting now. If this got broken, then I'm very, very uh, interested to uh, long it until this level and maybe reverse it down back again did you get uh, an idea of uh, what i'm looking at uh, jason See what's going on with USD CAD also. Okay, thank you. Look for long tomorrow if it bounces back up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, have your plan ready, and uh, of course uh, you have surely uh, um, your signals and uh, the way you trade. Uh, what I was showing you is only what uh, what works for me and uh, how I would play it. So. Uh, um, the best thing is uh, to have uh, your uh, game plan ready and uh, and try to play it if uh, if it goes. Uh, any other questions, guys? Because uh, actually, I don't have um, 
lots of um, trade more than the ones we uh, talked about uh, at my live session uh, last Sunday. Uh, so any other pairs or question I will gladly have uh, gladly answer them I have uh, another 10 minutes uh, to answer your question uh, hello Senna welcome uh, <laughs> you're a bit late but uh, welcome and uh, if you have any questions or any pair you want me to look at uh, I will gladly do that <coughs> hmm. USD CAD got projected up at the 0 0.618. It halted a bit. Let's see if it. Wow, that was a good break. <laughs> Do you see, guys, what's happened here? This large, this huge candle. This also may be. Uh, done from uh, by a stop loss that got triggered because we have this rejection from this trend line and uh, maybe not maybe uh, some traders traders took this one as long and of course the stop loss pocket is somewhere here just under and that's helped the the price go so f as fast as you see here and uh, give it a momentum down uh, no I don't have any problem to talk about the uh, divergence uh, Jason uh, sorry Senna uh, what uh, what exactly do you want to know about divergence and uh, I can uh, answer that uh, if you mean uh, just the idea of the divergence and the, how it works, I can um, also talk a bit about it. Uh, and um, yeah, maybe someone else want to hear about it. Uh, I'm just uh, watching this nice head and shoulder that worked very well. I saw a lots of trader that was watching this head and shoulder got broken a retest and a waterfall down <laughs> uh, yeah very good trade for those who uh, took this one really good yeah sana asking about divergence let's uh, talk a little bit about it what i use uh, to see uh, divergence on the charts is the RSI uh, it don't have to be the RSI you can use the MACD or the stochastic uh, so um, you just go with what works uh, good for you or what you like um, I use divergence to spot a possible area where price can reverse excuse me for a moment I'm just gonna take some water Sorry guys, yeah. So uh, what I, what I, the reason I have the RSI uh, to uh, find the divergence and that may be a early warning that price gonna reverse. And we have a really good uh, one on this chart that we can uh, look at, but uh, the best way for me to do this is to look for divergence at a, a high level uh, of value uh, so if we if we take this uh, head and shoulder we had here uh, we have an example here but the reason i didn't maybe uh, took it or like it because it wasn't it was in the middle of this range here I actually have this range if that happened up here I would be much more interested but it's happened earlier and uh, many guys who spot uh, this uh, head and shoulders uh, took it so 
the main thing about divergence that you have, as you see here, price making high, another higher high, and another higher high, as you see here. And when you look at the RSI, we are actually going lower, low, lower high here, another lower high here. So it's doing the opposite. To th think about it like this, when the indicator is doing the opposite of what the price is doing, that is divergence. And uh, many people got confused about that because they maybe uh, mark the bottoms instead. That is the wrong way. You don't look at the bottoms when you when the price is going up. That means the price are making higher highs, as you see here. This is the first high, another high, and the third high here. And on the other side, we have this high, then lower high, another lower high. So in an uptrend, you want to look for the RSI or uh, your stochastic to be going down and making lower highs. Okay, that is divergence. If the RSI is doing the same as the price, price going up and RSI going up, that's convergence and not divergence. That means that you can go long because the RSI is also doing the same. So um, I hope uh, that was clear. <coughs> On the way down, if you want to look for divergence, uh, uh, bullish divergence what we was looking at was bearish divergence uh, let's see if i can find an example on this chart for the bullish divergence mm, let's see let's see here we have one so as you see here at this level here uh, let's let me make it a little bit easier and take a vertical line. If we look at this level and uh, watch the RSI, this low here, we have our uh, low here and uh, the lowest low on the RSI on this area here. And uh, what happens that price were making another lower low here, as you see. But on the RSI, we had a higher low instead. So when this happened at this major um, support area, because it is a good support area, as you see here, we had rejection here. Um, if I zoom out more, we have another rejection and another rejection. That make it a very good level for me to watch. And we had also this trend line, this very old trend line going here. When this happen happens, uh, divergence on the RSI on a major level like this, that make me very, very interested to start looking for long. And as you see here, we got this nice break up break out and price kept going up up again and all started by this the divergence gave us an early warning that we may be going up so the first sign of this was uh, this candle here uh, this candle here and uh, that's given us a very good reason to go long. So I never base my decision only on the RSI. All I do it is a confirmation that price is heading a good level that I'm watching already and I have my divergence on the RSI that make me a bit more, more sure to go long. And uh, it's not a, uh, the RSI don't give you always the good signal and I'm going to show you another uh, 
scenario why you shouldn't trust the RSI all the time in all the areas in the chart because uh, as you see here let me just take off those arrows here and we I will show you what I mean so as you see here we had this level here this area and that what was also uh, the higher the highest high we had on the uh, RSI this level here and what happened that the RSI start diverging here already on this top and here and price kept going up that's mean that we had a divergence yeah it works out price went down but not so much so that was a false signal then price get up again this high was also not higher than this high here as you see if we take this trend line from the, this top to this top there were almost equal highs and that's also a divergence because this high is higher than this high but this high is equal to this high almost that was a false another false one and the reason why I like to use uh, RSI and divergence on a good level is when this happened in the middle of the short as this one you may get very uh, many times sorry uh, false signals as as it happens here but when it happens at this level then you're good to go because you know already that you have resistance here and a diversion just make you more sure so uh, Sana yeah I hope uh, this um, answered your question and uh, make uh, s um, the divergence clear uh, do you have any other question about that or are we clear on uh, the divergence because uh, and thank you for asking because I know there's uh, lots of uh, new traders that have uh, a bit problem understanding uh, that Jason what do you mean uh, with are your strategy I my strategy <laughs> Uh, what I like to do is uh, trade uh, swing trades and um, mostly reversals trading so uh, I have always uh, I mark always uh, my major level that I want to trade from as you see here uh, this level is uh, up here and down here are the level that I'm interesting in so i will for sure be looking and uh, for price to come back down here and uh, i will be looking uh, for uh, price action and uh, maybe take the bounce up or if it breaks down i will be also watching down that and uh, try to short it so uh, what i um, mostly do is uh, take trades from major levels and uh, that's almost uh, every time and uh, as you see here this one this bounce up here for example that's why I use the RSI a lot we had this lower low on the RSI the price were here and they had this higher low on the RSI and the price was at the same level that give you a very good signal when and I repeat that when you are watching a good level on the chart not in the middle of nowhere uh, so uh, yeah that's the way uh, I used to uh, trade and I have uh, a couple of trend continuations uh, strategies that I used and uh, maybe maybe one day I will be talking about them but uh, they are still in um, 
a new stage. Uh, they are doing uh, very well so far, but uh, I want to see a baby, a 50 trade or something like that b before uh, I start talking about them or showing them out. So uh, if we don't uh, have any more question, uh, I'm uh, very happy to have uh, to having you here, guys. I hope uh, you liked the session. Uh, thanks for uh, Forex God's uh, Facebook group to give me this opportunity to be here with you today. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to uh, Forex God's uh, YouTube channel and also to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com. Uh, and uh, Pierre Abdullahad, uh, subscribe because uh, I also do uh, live sessions on Sundays on my own channel and uh, I'll be uh, making some uh, short videos about uh, trading and uh, some tips and tricks uh, about trading. So uh, if uh, you don't have any more questions, thank you for today and uh, see you out there. Bye-bye, everyone.